I have more than 15,000 items in this place. And this is my private really collection. I've been really collecting things since 1976. This is World War II Army Field Phone, used in 1945, as you see. And normally, NASF trenches, and they hide, and they use this, they communicate. If they cannot reach other, خلاص, ما في enough cable, they will die. Again, this is a gift came to me from Germany, from a friend of mine. It is a gun. Now, watch out. It's really high sound. Go! <laughs> this is the Lord of... Springs sword, one of the 15 pieces manufactured. This is the original, actually, uh, piece. And uh, I just bought this one from Queenstown, New Zealand, through my visit. Of course, this is, I told you, just I bought recently from Tajikistan in one of my visits. It's a unique piece, let me show you. And the knight wakes up, became alive. Only night time. <laughs> collection started when I joined the armed forces, April 1976. I spent most of my time traveling, learning, joining for conferences. I go for official missions. So every time when you go to represent your country, this is what happens, that you exchange things with people. This is the first mobile car phone. This is a Tassalat card. You have to have this permission to use this phone. It's like a piece you, you carry and just go anywhere. This Quran is uh, more than 140, 45 years old and has been uh, gifted from front of mine from Turkey. This is the world largest uh, medal uh, and it's Geddes World Record. Fursan is uh, a team which I uh, really formed in uh, 2008 where we you know, just to encourage people to become healthier and they you know, have to move, they have to exercise. I have a unique piece of uh, uh, chess. And this is uh, a gift, I received this one as a gift more than 15 years ago from a business, uh, Russian businessman. If you take this one and take this one and just you take a close look, you will see very interesting details in there. This uh, portrait has uh, 1,000 135 photos in it uh, represent the number of days I spent in Australia. This is first UAE passport. Yeah, the diamond, see, it's handwritten. This is the old Emirates ID, you see? And all the information will be displayed on the other side. So that's really something unique. So this is all came because of the government support, because that opportunity where you travel and join and meet people around the world, it's belong to the country at the end of the day. I am one of the citizens of this country. And now we are working on a project that will go online for this, this place, which can be like we're developing a website, we are developing an app, we are uh, virtual tours, a lot of stuff. So it is a project by itself.